I am recording this again after I've put the shopping away because I forgot to do this bit. So yes, there you go. Here is our shopping this week from Tesco. I'll try and show you kind of Slimming World friendly bits first, although there's such a lot, it's not in an exact order. And in the um, box below, I will put our meal plan for this week. And yeah, I've just been, I've ordered some extras of things because I'm doing some batch cooking to kind of stock up the freezer and stuff like that. So. I will show you what we bought and then I'll talk to you a bit about it afterwards. So we have got peppers, flat peaches, a swede, some raspberries, some blackberries, some baking potatoes, loads of lettuce. I have no idea how I've managed to order three, but even more weirdly, I've somehow got four whole bags of onions, which I have no idea how I've ordered. I've never done that before. So we might need some onion soup or something. Carrots, more potatoes, some cress, Bananas, those are supposed to be eat me ones and those are supposed to be keep me but they look quite green. Some black seedless grapes which are on special offer. Some jazz apples, some avocados, loads of chestnut mushrooms, some Greek yogurt, some really nice thick cut roast ham and some apple with smoked ham. Some little Cornetto minis which I think are four and a half sins. Some of the Aero mousses which are also four and a half sins. Some dried apricots for the children. Some Mikado little chocolate sticks to try. Um, they are six and a half cents for half a pack, so I'll see what they're like and how much they are for one. Massive bag of pasta, some eggs, then even more weirdly, I've also got frozen sliced red onions and frozen diced onions to be really lazy. There's a lot of onion in this house, I'm gonna get a smell, nice. Anyway, some more Greek yogurt, some milk, some hand soap, the Bayless and Harding ones, some smoked bacon medallions, some whole grain mustard, and some mint sauce for like mint yogurt dip I like, some orange juice, because my husband likes that at the weekend, some high juice for the children, then coming around to this side, we have got new peanut butter flavour Oreos, which are two and a half sins each, but that's actually for a recipe for the blog, but oh my gosh, how good do they sound? Some caster sugar, loads of those wraps that the children like because they're on special offer and they keep for ages. Then some lunchbox snacks. We've got some Barney Bears, which are on special, some Saurine loaves, which are also on special, some little fruit peelers, which are also on special offer, some cheese crackers and some poppy and sesame seed crackers for the children. Oh. Some yogurts for their lunch, well, fromage fray sugar free ones for their lunch boxes. Some of the innocent fruity waters, which I just think are a bit of a rip off, but they were reduced to 99p each and the kids love them. Um, some sourdough loaf for a bit of a treat at the weekend. Some fish food, Ben and Jerry's, which is half price. I bought that because it's not my favourite flavour, so hopefully I won't eat too much of it. Um, some crisps and snacks and things, and the puffs, which are three and a half sins each, which I love. Loads of Philadelphia and some double cream to make a blog recipe. Some small bags of breadsticks for the children. Some Lurpak lighter. Some lower sugar um, baked beans, which were on special offer. A free range whole chicken, which is really expensive, but it is quite enormous. And they were on special offer as well. Uh, actually, it wasn't those. It was a different free range chicken on special offer, but they sent that as a substitute. Some plain poppadoms to have in the cupboard for some curry I'm cooking. Some big free or medium freezer bags for freezing all these meals I'm making. Some cucumber, loads of chopped tomatoes. I've been trying out like the nicer um, quality chopped tomatoes and they do seem to make quite a difference in taste. Some really nice tomato puree as well. Some more tomatoes and some cheese. And that is it. So that was the huge shop, the onions. What was that all about? Anyway, um, yeah, so the meal plans were low. I spent 150 pounds, which is obviously a lot and kind of more than I normally spend, but we were stocking up. And especially when I'm doing batch cooking and stuff, I don't mind spending a bit more because the meals will last us longer. And yeah, let me know if you'd be interested to see a post about what I've been batch cooking and kind of getting organized and stuff like that. And I hope you like the haul and anything you found in the supermarket that's exciting this week for Slimming World or otherwise, I'd love to know. And I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.